Thank you.
When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Omori. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's Omori. Bells will ring, ting-a-ling-a-ling, ting-a-ling-a-ling, and you'll sing Vita Bella. Hearts will play tippy-tippy-tay, tippy-tippy-tay, like a gay tarantella. When the stars make you drool, just like pasta fazool, that's Omori. When you dance down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. When you walk in a dream and you know you're not dreaming, signore. Scusa me, but you see back in old Napoli, that's Omori. That's Omori! That's Omori! Bells will ring, ting-a-ling-a-ling, ting-a-ling-a-ling, and you'll sing Vita Bella! Hearts will play tippy-tippy-tay, tippy-tippy-tay, like a gay tarantella! When the stars make you drool, just like pasta fazool, that's Omori. When you dance down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. When you walk in a dream, and you know you're not dreaming, Signore. Scusa me, but you see back in old Napoli, that's Omori. That's Omori. Excited. This is going to be fun. Bum, 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 bum,
Hello, my close personal friends. How's everybody doing today? Hope you don't mind starting off today's stream with a little, uh... A little musical interlude. I thought you guys would, <laughs> would enjoy that. What can I say? I got the damn music in my soul! Welcome to Relax with Max! We're here! We did it! That's the name of the game, that's the aim of the game. And I'm your host, Max. That's me. That's me! Hello, boy! Welcome! How you guys doing today? It's Fan Art Friday, that means we get to enjoy all this lovely fan art right before our very eyes. OMG, he's playing the best game ever. Is this the best game ever? Ever, ever? <laughs> you know, last night... <laughs> Last night, I was like, How long is Omori? Am I going to be able to finish Omori in one sitting? I looked it up. I typed in... Went to Google, typed in, uh... How long is Omori? And I was like, 20 hours?! What? How long is Omori? A player that put their primary focus on reaching the end of Omori can expect to complete their first playthrough in about... 20 hours. 20 hours. I don't know. Guys, I don't know. I don't think we've played any kind of... Um... Long form content. Since the Twitch days. Um... I don't know if you guys have... If you would have the attention span to want to sit and watch me play a 20 hour game. Obviously... If we do finish it, it's not all gonna be uh, on today's stream. Sam, I am watching a video on weaponizing self-affirmation. It'll be back soon, okay? Uh, um, oh, okay. Weaponizing self-affirmation. <laughs> I'm so freaking ready to Omer all over. Uh, okay, all right. How does one... <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. How does one weaponize self-affirmation? You know, I do, I do my own self-affirmations. I do them before every Relax With Max stream. I say, you know, like, I am a, I am a charismatic and natural streamer. I have energy. And I'm a, I'm a great public speaker. I don't care if I fumble my words. I don't care about dead air. I will speak slowly and clearly. And most of all, today's stream will be fun. We're gonna have fun today. Hey, Max. Hi. Love you, have a good day, kiff, 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 meow, 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 and stupid, and stupid, and stupid, and stupid, and stupid, and stupid, and stupid. <laughs> Thank you? Question mark? I think that was... I think that was complimentary. I think. I'm not entirely certain. I mean, Max. Yeah. Yes? Hello? Hmm. I think I lost that one. Or maybe somebody just said, Hi, Max. And they didn't have anything to say after it. My first Amori run was 38 hours. Oh. And that wasn't even like... The long version. That was the short Shoot. ending. Shoot. It's definitely a hefty game. We're never gonna finish this game. <laughs> Man, what was the longest game that I played on Twitch? Was it Lisa the RPG? I think it might have been, and I just wanted to keep going with that because I was enjoying it so much. Um, I guess I'll... I'll do one stream's worth of Omori and see how I feel. I might hate it. I might be like, you know what, I never want to play this again. Or... I might be itching to play it again. I might say, I want more Omori. I want... Omori. Huh? Huh? Get it? Get it? You guys get it. If you don't get it, I'll explain it to you when you're older. <laughs> mm. I would rather watch you play a 20-hour game than watch you play Garden of Banban. Actually, this 
the TTS is too loud. Let me turn that down. It needs to be at like negative three. There we go. There we go. Waxy Waxy. Hi. It's Badass Boy. Hey, Badass Boy. I'm excited for you to play Basil from Amori. Basil from Amori. Bagel, basil, flower, herb, plant. Um, okay. We'll see how it is. We'll see how it treats us. Also, um, before we get into that, I'm going to turn the fan, fan art off for one minute. Um, recently, I was featured in an episode of Lessons from Meme Culture. There's a, there's an, there's a lesson all about me. Haven't you guys always wanted to learn more about me? So we're going to watch this real quick. I don't know what's in it. I don't know if it's complimentary or not. Um, it's going to be my first reaction to this. And we'll see. We'll see how it treats us. I'm going to turn the desktop audio to negative 10. Okay. Who is the don't leave so soon relaxed guy? Spoiler, it's me. I'm the relaxed guy. It's me. Uh, turn the display on. There we go. Let's see what uh, let's see what this is all about. A relaxed blue face. Is it finally Femdom Friday? Track, finally, yeah. We, we could all use a good stopping for months, our behavior. Demonstrating the most chill. Also, I paid you more this month than an face. average OnlyFans <laughs> subcast. I'm trying to listen to this. Shut up. They're talking about me. As it turns out, this is actually taken from Hot Diggity Demon, aka Max Gelati, one of the OG internet animators who has YouTube uploads from all the way back in 2007. I do? And also briefly freelance for SpongeBob SquarePants. I did? On the 5th of October 2023, Max will post an illustration of his avatar as an angel reaching out. I'm Maxi Waxy, I love you in your streams, and I got my boyfriend Although watching our end, so I'm Maxi Waxy. Shut up, Hart. Shortly afterwards, Trying to listen to this. Max looking relaxed will be uploaded on his official X account, and then it appears the two were scooped up by Jolly Molly and paired with Moon, complete with visual artifacts to give a real crusty feel. Max yeah, what, what's with the crust? Why the crust? Meme, as it continued to blow up to the point where it actively pushed his online brand into higher popularity. It did? Although it's a little jarring watching it in high definition. After all, Max has begun streaming live in a program called Relax With Max. Hey! So it makes sense that he'd lean into a trend that reflects his very intentions to seduce a larger audience with the idea of a chill and happy time. Yeah, sort of. Not to mention this isn't the first time he's popped up in meme culture. That's right. The classic A Straight White Man clip was taken from his 2018 upload, The Apu That I Know, and managed to bounce around the internet for years. I remember that. A straight white I'm man. I'm the original straight white man. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was straight and white before me. At any rate, this blue relaxed face of Max's is receiving some <laughs> But I a mean fart and it cures your stomach ache. Contexts. Ew. It's just nice seeing something so calm and chill in a current climate of horrific news at every turn, or the rush of Christmas and New Year's slowly turning back to everyday life. It's an opportunity to sit still, slow down, and just take a minute to feel normal for a few seconds. Plus, many other artists have been so affected by the original video that they've started redrawing oh, it's the heavy. even flipping it on its head to show an evil, angry Max instead of a calm one. <laughs> In short, don't leave so soon means Why? utilizing Max Gelati's profile picture seem inspired by the creativity of a man who is a certified internet veteran, as he has uploaded content since the early 2000s and is no stranger to starring in meme culture. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. Why make a devil version? Like and subscribe! <laughs> I can't see your face. There's a big, there's there's a big button on top of it. I'm sorry. Or else. I can't see your face. Yeah, whatever. Why make a devil version? Does that not defeat the purpose of the meme? The meme is that we're all relaxing. You know. <sighs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess people can meme the way that they want. Don't let me be the one to tell you how you can and can't meme, folks. Don't let me be the one. Don't let it be me. And I apologize. <laughs> I apologize to the people who were super chatting that I was telling to shut up, but I was I was trying to listen to that. But thank you. Thank you for the super chats. And thank you for joining me today. Here's me holding goofball like a baby. Let's see what we got in here. I like the bikini. I like the bikini burn bot. This is me and Opila Bird. I wonder which one of these is my favorite this week. I'm not sure. Hmm. 
It's me punching, punching the COVID virus, I guess. You know, I mean, this one is cute, I have to say. You know, in light of everything that happened, I would say that a, a more, a more, a more accurate visual would be um, the virus punching me, as opposed to the other way around. Because who boy did I get my ass kicked by that virus? Oh boy. There's me doing some skibbity toilet. My skibbity toilet video got demonetized because of that song. Because of that everybody wants to rule the world. I can't monetize that video anymore. And now I'm wondering Does that mean that the guy who makes skibbity toilet can't monetize his own videos? Because if so, then why would he put that song in there? Oh, Goofball, give me little besito. Oh, I give you little besito on your big bald forehead. What's up, G? Max G, that is. Hi, Goofball. Very emblematic of the kind of conversations that me and Goofball usually have. This one's cute. Oh, man. That's so good. That's better than I can draw. You dumb kids can draw better than me. That's not allowed. Me strangling the life out of him. <laughs> you little son of a bitch! I'm gonna choke you! <laughs> My water needs more Gatorade in it. I can still taste the water. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it for, uh, for fan arts. And we do have to get into it, folks. <laughs> this is just... I just did this! This one I just did! Simple! You're simple! You're thick! You're a fool, girl Bonbon! Bon. There's no thoughts in your brain! You're making us look like assholes! Don't you realize that? And back to me holding Goofball like my newborn child. I can't wait to relax all over the place. Love you, Max. Enjoy the Mori. Thanks, I love you too. And I will enjoy the Mori. I might enjoy it less, or I might enjoy it more. Hey, Max. I'm actually working e. on an RPG horror game. When I get the demo ready, would you be willing to play it? Um... Maybe I'll wait until somebody else tells me that it's good. Because I have no idea of- I have no idea of knowing if it's good or not. And most of the things that I play on Relax With Max are... Kind of like more popular-ish games. And if a game is popular, that's... Kind of the proof positive that people like it. Um... So I, I don't know if I can promise to play... Uh, your demo. I don't know if I can just promise to play... Games made by all of the viewers of Relax With Max. That seems like it could be... A bit much. But thank you. For thinking of me. And now what is this? What is this? There are AI generated images of Sonic the Hedgehog all over my desktop! Shit. Fuck. Oh, well, whatever. Let's get into it. We're not gonna do our- <laughs> we're not gonna do our prayer today because we're kind of running late, but... I don't think you guys mind. We can pray on Monday all we want. Now this is a very Looney Tunes-esque Sonic. Um, I don't know if these are meant to be little puffs of clouds, or, or what? And who's this little guy? What is this? This might be... This might be Basil from Omori. Is this THE Basil from Omori? That's that's not Basil from Omori. I don't think that's it. However, I do love this Sonic. The Sonic is great. Um, it's a really fun image. So we're gonna put this in with the cool Sonics. Uh, next up... We have like a, a Japanese comic book, or a Japanese magazine. Hi, Maxich Woldner Horan. Hey! We've enough Deutschplate. 
<laughs> was I was wait was that it? I was waiting for you to say something else. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. And thank you for joining us today. It means a lot to me. Um, I love this image. I love the colors. This is a great piece of artwork here. I wish this was a real magazine so I could Fortress buy it. Two. Uh, something about TF2? What did you just say? Play Team Fortress 2? Uh, no. Because we are playing Basil from Amori today. I wish this was real so I could buy it. This is beautiful. I don't love that he has black arms. But other than that, this is a great little, uh, this is a great little image. Man, we might have all cool Sonics today. Except we won't. Because of this next one. <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is not an AI-generated image. This is just actual footage from China, where they now worship Sonic, uh, as their god. You can see they're all, they're all clasping their hands in prayer. Not unlike the way that we pray to relax us, and you know, who are we to judge other people? For who they pray to. Damn, Sonic. Damn, he big! He a big boy! Shoot! Now, I like Sonic a lot. I really do. I think that he's great. In a lot of ways. But would I worship him? Would I praise him as my Jimmy, almighty? Jimmy, chopping, chopping, doobie, doobie, nama, dama. Magico me dooby dooby boom 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 chippy chippy choppa choppa dooby dooby daba daba Magico me dooby dooby boom 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 The answer is no, I would not praise Sonic. I would not worship him. I like him. But I like him more in the way that a child likes a superhero, maybe? Or even just, like, the way that a child likes a cartoon character. Except, instead of being a child, I'm a big fat man. So I would say that worshipping him is weird, so we're gonna put him in with the weird Sonics. Uh, I really like this image. I like the screen toning. You can see the little... The little bumps. You know, like this is a print ad or something. I don't know what's going on with his mouth. His mouth just looks like a weird wrinkle. Although I think that's something we see with a lot of Sonics. And he's saying, Ha ha, I deleted Reddit. Oh, you enjoyed Reddit, did you? <laughs> well, I just deleted it. It's gone now. Sonic says, No more Reddit. No more. Where does this Sonic go? I don't use Reddit. If Reddit was actually deleted, a lot of people would be very, very angry. But I'm not convinced the world would be a worse place. But all of... <laughs> I guess this would be like a little a, a little piece of Schadenfreude for me, but all of the anger that would be surrounding the deletion of Reddit, I would probably find kind of funny. Even though it's evil of me to take enjoyment in the suffering of others. But I guess I would feel like it's okay because I, I just feel like people have too much too much of a connection to social media as it is. So I would- I would feel a little more justified in- in my amusement, in thinking that people being angry by Reddit's deletion is funny. I mean, it's still definitely schadenfreude, but... Do we need Reddit? Do we need it? Do we need it? Have you seen the FNF mod based of Luigi's Day Out? Yes, I have seen it. Maybe we should play a- should have a Friday Night Funkin' stream. There's also a brain dump mod, which I made myself. Sonic 
Because you have given me thoughts and feelings of Schadenfreude, I put you in with the cool Sonics. Go forth! On my way home from work, Maxer Waxer. Uh huh. I'm not missing a second of this stream though, so RIP my mobile data. Well, you don't have to call me Maxer Waxer, but. You know, thank you for. Thank you for the super chat and thank you for watching. What was I saying? Go forth! Sonic, go forth and delete Reddit all you want. You have my approval. I say it's okay. Last Sonic of the day. This is like a Harley Quinn Sonic. This is a Digital Circus Sonic, maybe? No, actually, I guess this is like... Isn't... isn't this like Harley Quinn's exact outfit? I think this just might be it. Or it was her outfit in the 90s, anyway. Nowadays, she's got the, uh... She's got the, What is there? Doesn't she have like a shirt that says like, Little Monster on it or something? Nowadays, she just kind of dresses like she's doing her laundry. I like the blue eyes. I don't like that his eyelashes are kind of <laughs> literally coming out of his eyeballs here. I'm not sure what's going on there. That's a little weird. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Where would a Sonic like this go? Where does a Sonic like this belong? It's not cute. It's not illegal. We don't necessarily know if just because he's dressed as a supervillain, just because he's dressed as Harley Quinn, that means he must be engaged in illegal activity. He might be innocent. Hey, Maxi, Waxy, Backy, Laxy, Saxy. Can hey, you don't play have to Class call me of 09 someday? Uh, did you ask me if I'm gonna play Class of Zero Nine? Because if you ask me that, then the answer is yes. And I think you did. Yeah, I'll play Hello. that. Hello? Hi. I was the one who mentioned my mom was tuning in on Wednesday, and she thinks you're really funny. Oh, well also, your mom has good you taste. you should play Little Misfortune. Maybe. <sighs> Tell your mom I said... Act your age. You're too old to be watching internet streamers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't tell her that. Tell her I said she uh, she's just a mom with good taste. If she likes me, she's got good taste. Tell her I said that. It is kind of cute. It's not illegal. But it's weird. But is it, is it cooler than it is weird or weirder than it is cool? This is a challenging Sonic. I feel challenged by this Sonic. I feel like this Sonic is challenging me directly. He's saying, go on, fucker, try it. You see this little hammer thing I got? I'm gonna clobber you over the noggin with it if you don't put me in the right folder. Okay, okay, jeez. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in with the weirds. I'm gonna put it in with the weird Sonic. And now look at this! Spick and span, neat, clean, tidy, and trim. Clean desktop is a happy desktop. And you know what that means. I'm gonna turn the audio down to negative... negative 12. Baxi, Daxi, Sexy, Baxi, can you please play Team Fortress 2 Pleading Face, Pleading Face? I'm playing Omori. You guys are never happy with what I'm doing. You ask me to play Omori, then I play Omori, and, <laughs> and before I've even hit play in Steam, you're asking me to play something else. For the fuck's sake, man. Okay, this is called Omori. I don't know anything about it other than that it's sad. There's a character named Basil who I think looks like Tweak from South Park. Um, I think the characters might be gay. That's it, that's all I know. Hi, Maxi Waxy. Stop calling me that! <laughs> what? What did you say? I know what you did? What did I do? I didn't do nothing. <sighs> Basil from Amori, let's try it out. Let's try it out. 
I'm gonna give it the old college. Can I make it bigger? I would like to make it bigger, please. Can I? Nope. Maybe it'll let me full screen it when uh, the game starts up. Oh, this game contains depictions of depression, anxiety, suicide, all my favorites! <laughs> Options. Can I do full screen? Nope, I can't click at all. It's keyboard only? Okay. Oh, Z is confirm. General. Screen resolution. Full screen on. There we go. Okay, can't change that. Game type input keyboard. We'll keep that on. Um, now, how do I go Jeff back? Jeff Giller D. Do you, you have, have a drunk, drunk driver video, video for us to watch? to watch? No, not today. You know what I should do is I should collect a bunch. Just so that I have them ready. Hey Maximum Max, I really like your videos. I saw that you were playing Amori in this stream, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, I hope I enjoy it too. I almost said I hope you enjoy it too, but then I realized you're not playing it, I am. I hope When's you enjoy me watching show it. Slash an animate identity stream? I'm not saying you should do it now, please play Amori. I'm saying like in the future. Okay, well today it's definitely gonna be Omori. And I just hope that you guys like watching me play it as much as I like playing it myself. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Ha! I've heard that one before! Ha 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 ha! Oh, you're gonna cry about it, little baby. No matter what happens. Love you, Masculine Max. Thank you. Promise me that we'll always be there for each other. You guys probably think this game is real sad, real deep. Well, guess what, fuckers? I'm just gonna make fun of it the whole damn time! <laughs> Promise me. Promise me what? Come on, get to the depression, get to the anxiety, get to the suicide! Welcome to to white space. Well, I'm white, so I'll fit in pretty well here. You know, I'm a bit of a white space myself. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Okay. This is the beginning of my 20-hour journey. Oh my gosh, that sounds like Pokemon music. Oh! I can just walk outside the... the bounding box of my room. I guess the cat is outside. Okay, so I guess this isn't a room that I'm in. You booted up your laptop. What would you like to do? Stare at the screen, open your journal, log off. Uh, stare at the screen? You stared at the screen. What would you like to do? <laughs> log off. Let's log off. The heat from the laptop warmed your laptop. Hey, Maxipad, can you, can you count down, down for me? I'm almost finished. finished. Friend's words, not mine. Oh, shut up. Shut your filthy mouth. <sighs> Gonna have to start banning you people for your lascivious hey, uh, behavior. Mr. Gilardi. Doing, Doing some, some video game, game fishing, fishing, hoping for that rare catch. catch. Though fishing, fishing is relaxing in and of itself. Peace, Peace be with, with you all, all beaming face, face with smiling eyes. Uh, yeah, I would say fishing is pretty relaxing. It's certainly not exciting. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Yes. Sup, Max. You are a major inspiration to me for animation. Hope you're doing well. Uh, thank you. I'm doing all right. I'm still trucking. Somehow still alive. Get better play nice and not spoil anything. We see a hunk of meat. Yeah, no spoilers, please. Am I some kind of a goth kid? Seems like a bunch of stuff that a goth kid would draw. Um... I do like, uh... Maxi Poo, whatever you do, make sure you... <laughs> make sure I what? Make sure I... Make sure I... Play video game with depression, anxiety, suicide? Alright. 
I like the colors. I like red, black, and white. Those are some great colors. Oh yes, box of tissues for jerking off. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Oh boy, this game. Something fell nearby. Is this game gonna be like really heavy handed? Waiting for something to happen. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Come on. Come on. Come on, Omori. Oh. Shoot. I, th I thought I was gonna get to fight an enemy. Alright. No luck there. Uh, can I leave? A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Do nothing. Why do I not have the option to open door? I can't even try to open it? You stared at the door. I think that should just say you stare at the door. But whatever. No need to be pedantic when we're playing... Omori. Nope, nope, ep, ep. Stay away. Stay away. Oh fuck, I'm on a loop! I looped around! Oh yes, knife. I get the knife. I use for a stab, my kitty. Oh, hello, kitty. I give you a stab. I cannot stab kitty. Fuck. Hmm. If I go in this direction, then I'll probably just come over here. Yeah. Well, I tried going up. I haven't tried going down. Stay away from me. Shoot. Hmm. Let's try the computer again. What would you like to do? Open your journal? I don't think I've done that. <laughs> what? Today I spent time in white space. Everything was okay. Over and over and over again. Oh, I'm Omori! It says Omori's journal. I am the Omori. The heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. Oh, how I hate being trapped in my endless white void with my cat and my tissues. Sketchbook, take a look inside. Maybe there's like a clue in here. I see decapitated red cranium. A weird kind of kaleidoscopic design with cat heads and then my head at the center. Uh, and and a, a pattern of assorted shapes. Um, a, a holy black cat above a sea of white cats surrounded in red blood. Scribbles, scribbles of eyeballs with blood drops. Um, this looks like a bathroom on the right here. I see a bathtub, somebody in the bathtub. Um, I also see some clothes hanging. Some kind of a weird snake monster, a scribbly, a scribbly headed cat, a disembodied scribbly headed cat above a table. Cake with eyeballs? Yeah, I'm really getting nothing here. I just, I'm, I, if there's a clue in here... Shoot. Yo, Max, it's Badass Boy. Just wanted to say I'll stop calling you Maxi Waxy. Okay, thank you. It seems you dislike the nickname, so yeah. Just call me Max. I owe more. We're all friends here. There's no reason we all can't just call me Max. We can all just be on a first name basis. Why not, you know? Hello, Max. Hi. Tis I, Red Mensch. Hey, Red Mensch. Have you ever tried Diaki Organic Yerba Mate? Uh, it comes in yellow cans and many flavors. I recommend Enlightened Mint. Uh, okay, I'll look into it. Now it's giving me option to open door. Let's try it out. Yes! Haha, <laughs> so long, white space. Nobody can- no white space can withstand. Oh. 
Wow, that's pretty. I like these colors. Oh, this is cute! Hi, Omori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Aubrey. Want to play cards with us? Uh, are we children? I think we're children. We were just about to start another game. Oh, whoops. Never mind. Oh man, what the heck, Aubrey? You messed up all the cards. I was winning too. Hey there, Kel. There's no need to get angry. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that, hero. You only say that because you were losing. Can I move? Yep. A tentacle is poking out of the ground. You got stuffed toy. That's weird because pff, it looked like a watermelon. But you know what? Okay. Oh, I can squish egg. You guys hear that? Max and Cheese. Max and Cheese, that's right. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. Cat-shaped hole. Sounds like that one Stephen King story. Oh, we got another squishy egg. A single bean on a plate. How quaint. A photo of someone familiar. Would you like to make toast? Fuck no! A fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. A neatly wrapped present. A blender. A baseball and a baseball bat. Can I look at egg? No, I cannot look at egg. Oh! That big cat up there watches me. Yeah, you like what you see, big guy? Why is Kel always being so mean to me? You know the other day that Good For Nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me? Yeah, it was literally inside of a watermelon, if you can believe that. Pretty please. Uh, is that? Could it be? Aubrey snatched the stuffed toy from you. Hey, Kel! Look, it's my stuffed toy! What the heck? Where did you get that? Omori found it! Lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Kel. You should know better than to pick on others. But Aubrey started it. Gah! She was the one who was making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... What? Where's your mole? Where's your mole, Kel? Where's your mole, Kel? Say it. Say where the mole is, Kel. Aubrey. Fine. Am I done talking to you guys? Hey, Amori. I'm glad that's all settled. Those two always seem to Max, be I must heads. warn you that Spider-Man Spider dies, dies in this game. That's okay. I don't like Spider-Man anyway. Marie and Basil. <gasps> Basil from Omori invited us for a picnic at the playground. Do you want to go see them? Not really. Oh, okay. No worries. <laughs> we'll be here. Man! Ugh. Aubrey always gets what she wants. Thank you, Omori. I knew I could count on you. You're the best. <sniffs> Waiting for something to happen? You can't leave without your friends. All right, all right. How come you guys get to be different colors and I have to be black and white? How come I can't have like a like peach skin and a colorful outfit and everything? Seems a tad unfair. All right, everyone. Let's go see Marie and Basil. Oh, you guys are in my party now. 
This is just like Earthbound. Going out, Omori. Tss. Here is your allowance for today. Tss, 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 tss. You got 50 clams. Thank you, Snake. Oh yeah, fresh air at last. Gotta love that nature. Well, let's go. Hey, wait a sec. Oh, I'm sorry, is your big fat ass stuck in the <laughs> in the tree? <laughs> Help me up, guys. I'm stuck. I have a big fat ass. Only if you say please. Yeah, Kel getting his revenge. Kel, stop messing around and get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. Hmm. Took you long enough. Well, sorry, princess. Okay. Out in the real world. Let's try to find that basil. Oh, the beach. How nice. Do you want to build sandcastles with your friends? Sure. I guess if I have to. <laughs> oh, that was it? Alright. Will something happen if I don't hit the button? Oh, she went swimming this time. I just wait. All right, well done. We're done. What now? I guess that's it. Oh, what was that? I wonder. <laughs> you are afraid of drowning. That's fine. That's a that's a normal fear. Everyone should be afraid of drowning. You don't need to be afraid of swimming, because you can swim without drowning, but everybody should be afraid of drowning. I animated a digital circus video, added you and other internet easter eggs, and it went viral. Wanna see it? Uh, P.S. I didn't read the description, and now I donated $10 to get this message read XD. Uh, maybe you could send it to me on Twitter or something. But congratulations on having a video go viral. You are afraid of spiders. Boy, the things that I'm afraid of could fill a warehouse, huh? And thank you for including me in your video. Basil from Momori. I gotta find the basil. The basil from Momori. Is this a cutscene? What's going on? Yes, cutscene. What the hell is that thing? Got some weird monsters. Are those our friends? Marie Basil from Omori. After you finish Omori, I highly recommend playing YIK, a postmodern RPG. Fuck it's no. It's pretty jibbably cool. <laughs> Fuck no, I saw them play that on OnlyPlays. It looks awful. I'm not playing that. <laughs> I won't. I won't play it. All they did was talk about how bad it was. Oh, hello, Aubrey. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Kel's being mean to me again. Oh, no. Not again. How could he? Psh, I'm not being mean. Aubrey's just being all whiny. Well, Kel, you've just made a very convincing point. Now I don't know who to believe. 
Believe me! No, believe me! Sigh. Settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Chin up, hero. Look at you being all responsible. I really like that about you. Hee <laughs> hee. Come on, Marie. Not now. Oh, hero. You know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. While we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were going through this photo album. Do you want to join us? Of course! After all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil! Basil! Get a load of this! Come on, Basil! Take a picture of me! Sorry, Cal. I only take photos of people when they least expect it. Uh, sounds like something a pervert would say, but all right. You like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of a camera, right, Basil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are the moments I want to capture. So, like, we just have to pretend you're not there? <laughs> yeah, I guess you can put it that way. Sure, I can do that. Do you want to show us your photo album now, Basil? Uh, okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Here. This way we can all see. Marie is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Mori and Kel are holding Marie's example. So pretty. I don't think we need information on all of these. It's just a bunch of kids playing with flowers. Oh, jeez. Everyone's eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her face. Aubrey, you sloppy bitch, get it together. Maybe someone should tell her. Kel Thanks for all the milk. laughs over the years, Max. Hey, no problem. Hope you have a good stream. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching it. I shouldn't get too close, or he might get my camera wet with his milk. Yeah, <laughs> I really am black and white. All the other characters have colors, but I'm black and white. Unfair. Hero leaning in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Okay, Hero and Kel are brothers, I guess. We're having a picnic today. Marie wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. After eating, everyone fell asleep except Hero and Marie. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. Kel said he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. Everybody's naked feet. All of our feet in a circle! Let's hope some pervy adult doesn't find this photo. Can you guess whose feet are whose? I, that's a game that nobody wins. Let's not. Let's just not. These photos are all so charming, Basil. I really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Marie likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did you all want to come? I love games that are just reading and no gameplay. <laughs> well, what an incredible way to leverage an interactive medium. Um, I won't necessarily say that I, I'm loving this so far, but I do have a lot of games that I really do love that are just, like, nothing but reading. Um, you know, Phoenix Wright games are basically nothing but reading. Um, there's a lot of reading in the Paper Mario games, and those games are great. So, you know, I like a good visual novel now and then. I'm not sure if this one is going to win me over, but we'll see. 
You know what? It all just comes down to whether or not you are enjoying what you're reading. If that makes sense. So if I'm playing a game that's mostly reading, but what I'm reading is like funny and entertaining, then it's probably fine. But if I'm playing a game that's mostly reading and what I'm reading is boring, then that's a problem. Do you want to come to hang out at my house? You have a house! I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Let's go. It's south of the playground, right? Yep, that's the way. Hmm. I think I'll sit this one out. You all go on and enjoy yourselves. If you ever feel weary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some for some refreshments ready. You can even save using my picnic basket. Aw, oh, thanks, Marie. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Marie. We'll see you again soon. Run along and have fun now. You know where to find me. Oh, I now have a new member. I have Basil. From Omori. And I can save with this? Would you like to save? Sure I would. Hey, Maxi Poo. Hi. Love your streams and your headphones, LOL. Thank you. No, I thought that said no boob zone. <laughs> no boss zone. Violators will be prosecuted. No boobs either. I'm going to swing to the moon. No, that doesn't work. I've tried. Nose is my best friend. She can't say much, but she's really smart. I like puzzles. Okay, I like puzzles too. Hey, Omori, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans. Just stay put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. You are you are not a child. You are definitely not a child. You are a monster. Burly talks so fast when she's excited. It's really hard to keep up. Hey, wait just one second. Where do y'all think you're going? Uh, we have to go to Basil's house, I think. You can't Hero leave without- and Mari are the oldest and might have puppy love for each other. But Mari is too busy with her damn picnics. Okay, well, let me figure it out on my own. You know, if it's important, I'll pick up on it. And if I miss out, then how important could it be? You can't leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. Stay and play with us. Ugh. The more the merrier. You want to play hide and seek again? But you know how this turned out last time. Yeah. Sorry, Burly. I think we're going to have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now, so we'll catch up with you later. Hey! I wanted to pop in to let you know that this game just has a slow start. Okay. It has some very engaging and unique RPG and horror gameplay. Ooh. After Basil's home is when things start happening. Okay, I'll be open-minded for now. I, I'll try not to judge it. And I know I said I was just going to make fun of it the whole time, but if I start enjoying it, then I won't do that, obviously. That little character over there looks like, uh... It looks like Zack from Oni Place. Hey guys, I'm going to go up and down this slide. What would you do, um, um, what would you do if, uh, 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 your uncle opened his coat and a little man propped out, a little gremlin man? What would you do, what would you do? Not so, not so fast, trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? Yes. My rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as boss. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. Are there any adults in this world? I wonder what that moron is up to now. Eh, good riddance. So, you want to play hide and seek, Basil? I can go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Omori. What do you want to do? Please let me make a choice. Omori! Omori! My best friend! Come on, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? No! Huh? You don't know how to play hide and seek? What kind of kid are you anyway? The kind who's being controlled by a grown, bald, fat man at his computer. That kind. 
That means you have to play with us. Oh no. <laughs> I'll explain the rules after I round up everyone. I don't want to play. Ten hut. All right, maggots. Here's the rules. We're gonna be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek. Here in my hands, I got some straws. See, everyone's gotta pick a straw. The one with the shortest straw is gonna be it, and we have to find everyone else. It's gonna be me. Sounds easy enough, right? Oh, it's gonna be me. We know it's gonna be me. We all got our straws. Good. Let's see who's gonna be it. Well, well, well. Looks like the one with the shortest straw is... Omori! Oh wait, Omori is it? But Omori doesn't like to be alone. Are you going to be okay, Omori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind, really. Hey, I hear you plotting over there. The straws make the rules, not me. Come on, don't be babies, it ain't so bad. Omori will be fine. When you're ready to play, walk up to the tetherball pole and close your eyes. And no peeking, or else! Okay... If I gotta do, then I gotta do. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Found you. Whoa, you found me! Yeah, it's almost like you were right in front of my fucking face. Now I can help you find everyone else. Just don't tell Burly about this, got it? <laughs> uh, we got a friend over here. Aw, you found me. Darn. Let's go find everyone else together, Omori. Am I- are, are you someone I need to find? Probably not. Oh, hey guys, Huff, you know, Huff, found a really good hiding spot, but Huff, Sean, and Ren, Huff, invited me to join them in their exercise routine. It's fun, and good for you. You guys should really try this. It's really a workout. Oh man, I'm so tired. Wow. You really don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, Hero? Come on, Hero. We gotta help Omori find everyone else. Alright, alright. I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This was fun. Yeah, let's go do this again, again sometime. Excuse me. See you later, Hero. Okay, how many people am I looking for? Do I need to find you? Charlene. Ugh. I'm not sure if I needed Charlene. What even is this thing in front of me here? Darn, you found me. I guess that means I lose. Are you just like... Are you just a decapitated head on the ground? What are you? You know what Happy would say now. She'd say something like, Bangs, you should always try your best at everything. How else will people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. I see a big friend over here. Turns out, there's not many places to hide here for a guy my size. Oh, I can relate. But this was still fun. As long as Burly is happy, I'm happy. Ooh, behind this, behind the, uh, the slide. Nose goes. Shh, if you're too loud, they'll hear us. Nose goes. Bun goes. Ah, oh, be quiet, Nose. We're hiding, remember? Aha! We found you, buns and nose. Nose, they found us. Nose goes. Oh, you know I can't stay mad at you. Let's go play patty cake. This is the game that has horror elements? This is not striking me as a horror game, I gotta say. Can I have this candy? Ah, yes, some nutritious candy. Would you like to eat some? Yes. <laughs> I love the candy jingle. You and your friends feel like new. Ooh, 
Boing, it's me, Happy. You found me, so that means I gotta do something else now. Oh, I know, I'm gonna count the alphabet backwards. Do you count the alphabet? Z, Y, X, W, V, U, O, M, um, O. <laughs> Ooh, banana. Eternal banana. A yo yo. A suspicious blue mailbox. Can we leave? Whisper, 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 whisper. You probably shouldn't disturb this. Okay, I can't leave yet. Ooh, there's someone in that tree. Hello. Huh? Where am I? Oh, I was dreaming that I was on a private beach with servants fanning me with palm tree leaves on every side. When suddenly, wham! And now here I am. I must have fallen asleep while hiding. I guess that's game over for me. Ooh, buried in the sand. There's a straw on the ground. Pull it out? Yes. Blah! Took you guys long enough. I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. How'd you like my hid hiding spot? Pretty good, eh? Looks like you pretty much found everyone else, too. Unexpected. But I like it. Let's do a final roll call. Ten hut! Hope I don't need to memorize these characters. Van! Here as always, buddy. Charlene! Here. Mikal! Z, 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 Z. That's snoring. Me, 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 me. Ow, what gives? Happy. Here, here. Browse. Ah. Bangs. Here. Bun. Bun is here. Nose. Nose goes. Hero. Present. Kel. Yawn. You really gotta do this every time, Burly. Hey, that was uncalled for. Hi, Max. <laughs> hey. First, First super, super chat, chat here. Oh, thank you. Here's, Here's some, some tips, tips for Amori. Yeah? Press shift to run and make sure to always water all of Basil's flowers for a secret ending. All right. Aubrey! Thank you for the super chat. Here I am, betches. Huh? Where's Basil? You know, Basil from Omori. That's strange. I thought I saw him go hiding near that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil, you can come out. <laughs> if Basil is dead, if they walk around the bushes and they find Basil's lifeless corpse lying in the bushes, that's gonna be too much. You already won. Oh, this is bad for Basil. Hello, Basil! Basil's dead. Basil is just so fucking dead. Is Basil in tree? Hey, there's Basil! Basil, come out of tree. Basil, are you okay? Are... are you stuck? Oh! <gasps> Basil's been caught by monster. Boss. <laughs> Boss, I should have known it was you. You good for nothing scoundrel. Let Basil go. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil is our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> You stupid heads! You think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to hide and seek? I'm the only... I'm the one who... <laughs> don't know where I got the word only from. I'm the one who showed you all how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right! How can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? My flower crown! Hey, that's the flower crown we made for Basil! 
How could you? Let go of him, you bully! You coward bully cad and thief! No! Love if your I... video contents. Thank you. Also love your brain dumps contents, are you making any more in the near future? Uh, I don't know. No, if I can't play with everyone, then no one can! This is a boss-only zone now. And you're not invited! Uh-oh, do I have to fight him? Oh, finally, some action! What will Omori and friends do? They'll fight! Um, okay. Attack? Okay, now is girl. Girl is Marie? Yeah? Or Aubrey? God, all the characters look the same. It's gonna make this really tricky to remember- <laughs> To remember who's who. They all have the same exact face over and over again. Um... Skill? Pep talk. Makes a friend or foe happy. Guard. No, I don't want to do that. Snack and toy. No snacks, no toys. Okay, Aubrey can attack as well. You know what? What's, what are all of their skills? Uh, annoy makes a friend or foe angry. Do I want to make him angry? Is that something I want? For him to be angry? I don't think I want him to be angry. <laughs> Hero, what are your skills? Cook! Heals a friend for 75% of their heart. Can be used outside of battle. Cost 10. Uh, okay, well he can just attack two then. We gonna kill this guy? Boss. <laughs> you weaklings! You call that an attack? Aubrey attacks boss. 16 damage. Hero attacks boss. 13 damage. Boss pushes Aubrey! Oh my gosh. What will Omori and friends do? Um, what are Omori's skills? Sad poem. Inflicts sad on a friend or foe. I think we can... I think we can make this guy sad. Everyone else just attack. Boss feels sad. Oh, <laughs> he has a sad face now and everything. Hey, that kind of hurt. Hmm. This isn't fun anymore. Boss punches Kel. Boss punches Kel again. Oh my gosh, Kel is about to die. Kel is about to die. Oof, I can't believe they put a, uh, a lethal fight this early in the game. Okay. Uh, Kel. Everybody attack except for Hero. I want you to heal Kel. Actually, I should have had Kel guard. Since he's so close to dying. Aubrey attacks boss. Yes! Doom Eternal if it was actually good. Kel eats cookie. This is better than Doom Eternal. Kel eats cookie regains health. Yes! I finally get it. Uh, okay, everyone else just attack again. Grr, now you've made me angry. It's time for my special move. Body slam! Can you put Basil down first? Oh my gosh. Aubrey became toast. Kel became toast. Omori took 100 damage. Why, uh, why toast? Omori did not succumb. Well, that's good, at least. Huh? How are you still moving? Boss cracks his knuckles. Can you not... Can you not turn all of my friends into toast? Please? I have no toys and no snacks. Or 
Omori attacks boss. Ooh, that got him. Omori's party was victorious, except everybody's toast now. Oh, I get it. They're toast. As in, like, you're toast? Okay. That's kind of funny. That's kind of cute. This isn't fair! Rematch! I want a rematch! Ow! Basil, are you hurt? Ow, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss, it must hurt to see people have fun without you. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Hmm, I know that. There. Does that feel better? Basil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Omori held on during that final attack, or else we would have all been toast. Get it? Uh, uh, get it? It's okay, I trust him. When you were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? Oh my. Humph. It's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear these lies! Oh, he just wants a friend. He just wants friends! Can't you see he's just lonely? This is my spot! No one is welcome here! <laughs> I return to tree. Well, he probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now, finally. That sounds good to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Off to Basil's house. Oh, to visit Basil's house. To finally figure out if these children have mothers and fathers. Psst. Hey. Psst. You. Yeah, you over there. Um, Omari, I think that mailbox is talking to us. Maybe we should check it out. Okay. Yes, yes, hello, value customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Kiki, kiki, kiki. Uh, candy. Apple juice, jacks, and present. Jacks deals small damage to all foes and reduces their speed. Present. It's not what you wanted. Inflict anger on a friend or foe. Um. I literally have a character who has a move that inflicts anger, so I don't want that. Jacks could be useful. So I don't have a lot of money. I'm gonna get two pieces of candy. And also, 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 let me save. Can I talk to you? What's up? I wanna give flowers to someone, but he's only interested in puzzles. If only I could find a flower puzzle or something, maybe then he would notice me. It sounds like a personal problem. Marie's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Yes. All right, off to Basil's house. Train station, Pinwheel Forest, Basil's house. Basil's house to the south. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Oh, Basil. Oh, Basil from Amori. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. I learned that from Animal Crossing. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Marie. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Oh. Is that enemy? Whoa! 
What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerous, dangerously vicious when they are lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that! You're stomping all over the flowers! Looks like the Sprout Mole is angry. Like us, Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Hero, since this Sprout Mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So what you're saying is, now is the perfect time to strike. Come on, Omori, let's do this. Um, okay. Attack, 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 attack. I want to eat the Sprout Mole? I don't know if he would taste all that good. <laughs> Omori's party was victorious. Gained 22 XP. And all it took was us killing an innocent animal for no reason. Omori grew to level 2. Oh, most of the flowers are unharmed. Well, that's a relief. Hey, Omori. Now that we're getting the hang of battling, Here's a journal that we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Hero gave you the faux facts journal. Alright. There, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing X. Oh, I love that! I love that the background goes blurry! Oh, that's so cool! That looks so good! That looks so good. Yeah, we can see all of our friends. Or all of our foes. Let's hit it. Basil, Basil, what are these? These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? I don't know, Marie. They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Oh my god, Basil. You just have a crush on literally everyone, don't you? Ah, these are the type of flower called gl... 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 gl gladi gladioli... gladiolus? Gladiolus. The gladio... what? Gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest, with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The Gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey, because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is that Aubrey is really stubborn. Hey, no I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Do I have to fight another one? Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling. You're destroying all of the flowers. Oh, I see. This Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a higher chance of missing. What? It has a... Did... Did you not just say it has a higher chance of hitting? It has a higher chance of hitting and missing? How do I rewind? I can't rewind. Um, okay. I'm just gonna kill it the same anyway. Oh, Kel takes damage.
Omori's party was party, excuse me, was victorious. You gained 18 XP. Got four clams. Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad, and sad beats happy. Who boy do I wish I could write that down. Happy beats angry. Not in the real world, it doesn't. Angry beats sad. Yeah, probably. And sad beats happy. I think in the real world, it's just angry beats everything. <laughs> Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. You got an emotion chart. Do you want to look at the emotion chart now? Uh, sure. I have to memorize all this? Happy, luck up, speed up, hit rate down. Angry, attack up, defense down. Sad, defense up, speed down. Some damage to heart. To heart equals juice? I'm not sure what that means. Basil, are we almost at your place, or what? Hey, Basil, who do these flowers remind you of? Whoa, what are these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus, you... <laughs> <laughs> Kel, you idiot. Kel, how dumb are you? You've never seen a cactus before? It's more of a plant than a flower. <laughs> It reminds me of the meme of the anime character looking at a butterfly, and he says, Is this a pigeon? <laughs> Kel goes up to a cactus. Wow, what is this? I've never seen such a thing. <laughs> Kel, you idiot. You dork. Is it because he's a prick? Oh! Damn, Aubrey! Shit! Oh, he's not going to recover from this one, lads. It's all over for Kel. <laughs> hey! Well, that too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. <laughs> they don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Whoa, neat. Cacti are awesome. But what flower reminds me of- reminds you of me? Your friend Omori. Ah, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like Omori. <laughs> what? What? You're giving everybody compliments, and then when we get to the flower that's like me, it's just nothing but- <laughs> It's nothing but being called plain and simple? And bulbous? I don't know, I just think it's cute. <laughs> well, thanks, I guess. Sorry for being plain and simple and bulbous. Ah, not another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We got a hang of this by now. Hero. Hmm. This sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in the fetal position? Nope, not really. That means it won't do as much damage as normal. But it'll also take less damage to heart, and will lose juice instead. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. Okay, so... So I... I have to be cognizant of the emotions of the enemies that I fight, and probably also the emotions of my own characters. Because if there's like a rock, paper, scissors situation with these emotions, then that would mean if... So like, you know, if, if sad beats happy and I'm fighting a happy enemy, I would have to try to make all of my characters sad? Mori's party was victorious. He gained 14 XP and got two clams. Aubrey grew to level two. Hey, congrats, Aubrey. 
Kel grew to level two. Hero grew to level two. And learned mas massage. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need a massage. You can use that skill on yourself. Let's all keep our hands to ourselves. Oh, hey. It's Marie. Hi, everyone. Y'all came just in time for a lovely picnic. Didn't we just see you? Weren't you just having a picnic at the playground? Feel free to rest here. Everything is already set up, and I even brought some fruit. You and your friends feel like new. Munch, munch, munch. Woohoo! Thanks, Marie. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Oh, Marie. I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Marie is so effortless, effortlessly graceful. Don't you think so, Amori? Uh, I really don't know anything about you. So I'm gonna say no. Omori, stop kidding around! I wasn't. Is that any way to treat your big sister? <gasps> My big sister! <laughs> My house is right down this way. We all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Marie. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Save real quick. Let's hit it. Come on, give me that basil house. Give me that basil house. Come on. Some weird giant footsteps, but I'm not going to let it bother me. Is it, Basil, is this your house? This is where you live? The big monster out front? Hello. That we have to fight. What will Omori and friends do? Um... Angry beats... Angry beats happy, right? Fuck, I forgot the whole damn thing. I'll just attack it. Ye old sprout. Okay, we all get little bits of damage. So he can attack us all and hit us all at once. Um... I can make him sad. I don't know if that's gonna help. But you know what? We'll try it anyway. Everybody else just attack normally. Amori reads a sad poem. Make him sad and make yourself angry? Um, okay. What happened? Fight over? Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, we can do this if we work together. Looks like I'm going to have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Omori. We'll get him this time. Did I lose? You notice anything different, Omori? You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. You just attack and you'll see. Um. Like this? Just regular attacking? Mori trips old sprout. Um. 
I don't know what those... I don't know how to use those, uh... Those little thought balloons. I don't know what they represent. Did you see the bubbles that... I would call... <laughs> I would call them thought balloons. That popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack, for a limited time, you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just press any direction arrow and see what happens. Okay, so I have to pay attention then. Attack again. Did it work? I don't think it worked. Pass to Aubrey. Nope, doesn't work. None of them work. They're all like faded out. You, man, this guy is really tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. Okay, it works when Omori does it. When the other characters... I can't control the other characters and their their little thought balloons. Hmm. Nice, we're full of energy. This is the perfect time to use our special attack. Omori, after you attack, press down to release energy. I hope you're all ready. Come on everyone, let's show the big guy what we're made of. Release energy! Do it! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Kid power! Oh, cute. Oh, I guess that was lethal then. Omori's well, party was victorious. You gained 150 XP. You got 50 clams. Omori grew to level 3 and learned st <laughs> learn stab. Don't turn your back on him. Aubrey grew to level 3. Kel grew to level 3. Hero grew to level 3. Alright. Still don't really understand that mechanic, but... And there you have it! Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. And I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. No, oh, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type that likes to fight. But it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can study together next time. I'll give... It'll give it... Oh, I'll... I'll give it to Omori to hold on to for now. You got self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and then. Omori, well, you should know. When we gain XP and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know. Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Kel. Now, is this... Is this Basil's house, or is this like the pathway to his house? Oh, his house is in the woods. Okay. It's also a shoe. Oh, let me stretch. Oh, oh god. Oh, that's the good stretch. Say cheese! Oh, it came out kind of blurry. Well, that's okay. That gives it character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it. Uh, oh, sure thing. Oh, we all look so cute! How's my hair? 
I want to see. I want to see. Hello, I am Omori. Can I see? Hey, Omori. Did you want to take a look at the photo too? Uh, oh. <laughs> I can't help but notice that I have, um, I have a different color palette than the rest of you. Is this a game about racism? It's too bad that it came out kind of blurry, but you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Woohoo! Another shot for the photo album! Move over, Aubrey. I can't see. Hey, stop pushing! You already had your turn! Get As out of say, my way, Cal! No in team. Uh, what did you say? As they say, there is no Omori in team? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess not. Well, wait, hold on, there's no need to fight. You know, I, I've seen photos of, of Basil online. I've seen, I guess, not photos, images of him online. At first I thought he looked like Tweak from South Park, but he kind of acts more like Butters. Wait, hold on, there's no need to fight, fellers. Me first. No, me! Ah, stop it! You guys are knocking me over! Uh-oh. Uh, whoops. Oh my gosh, Basil. I'm so sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now! This is why the both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry, we didn't mean it, Hero. Please don't tell Marie. Oh wait, that's Kel. <laughs> I gave Kel the Aubrey voice. It, it's okay, don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Here's your photos. Doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back. In your photo album. Excuse me. Thank you, hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. Oh, the irony. Oh, the irony. Your house is not but a shoe. A bunch of potted plants and flowers. Basil loves taking care of things. A bunch of potted plants and flowers. So we're just living a... Uh, it's just kind of like a story of a bunch of children living in the woods with like monsters and stuff and no... no parents. No parents to tell them what to do. Kind of a Lord of the Flies situation. Or... or like Peter Pan, <laughs> if you want a more innocent example. You know, it's kind of like a Neverland situation. What's up? Are you ready to put back the photos, Omori? Sure. Let's get started. Hmm, darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Omori has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure this out in no time. Oh shoot, is this a memory game that I gotta play? Hey, Max, Hi. I, wanted I wanted to give you an update. update. My, My man parts, parts are, are no longer itchy. itchy. Great. I switched, I switched to, to a new soap. Coolsies. Does this matter? Whoop. Let me try again. Put it there. Here? There we go. See, I knew I had a good memory. I have an exceptional memory when the game remembers it for me. There you go, Basil. Basil's memory's ready to go. There, good as new. 
I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil, even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promised to never- Oh Mori, oh Mori, oh Mori. In your arms, I long to be, longing to be. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> yeah, I promise to never fight with Facts. Aubrey. I can't wait for you to experience the crippling depression that is Amori. <sighs> I'm sure I'll love it. I promise I promise to never fight with Aubrey ever again, unless she starts it first. Don't worry about it. Oh, Basil from Amori. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. Whoops. What was that one? What was that one, Basil? Hmm, that's strange. A photo must have been loose. Huh? What's this? Did I take this photo? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Something about it seems so familiar. N no. That can't be. What's the photo, Basil? Nari or Marie? Uh oh. Uh. Basil? B Basil from Amori? Hello, Basil from Amori? Got sent back here. Meow, not much to do around here, is there? You booted up your laptop. What would you like to do? Open your journal. Okay, still nothing in here. What happened to all of my friends? Your sketchbook. Take a look. Sure. Oh. Oh. Oh, that one wasn't there before. No, 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 that one wasn't there. Okay, a tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Basil! Basil, where are you? Basil from Omori. Paging Dr. Basil. Shoot, what now? Light bulb hangs from the ceiling, wherever it is. Look into the light bulb. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now the game is, is hopefully done being cutesy and is ready to start being interesting. Stare at screen? You stared at the screen. What would you like to do? Log off. Oof. I hear a heartbeat. And I don't trust it. Or is there? Are you looking for a way out? Uh, kinda. There is always one. There always is one, but... Excuse me. Waiting for something to happen? Yeah, I need to leave. Okay, so there's always a way out. But I need to find it. What if I go diagonally? Oh, oh, okay, okay. This is like the hyperbolic time chamber from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want to wander off and get lost for eternity. You know, I have always said Basil from Omori is just like Dragon Ball Z. I have said that. Okay. How do I get out of here? Stab? 
That stab wasn't there before, was it? What do I stab? <laughs> do I stab cat? I really don't want to stab cat. <laughs> I stab myself? I won't do it. <sighs> do I stab self? Do I dare? I mean, sure, we all have those fantasies, but you never ever act on them. <laughs> I won't say I haven't dreamed about it. Reminder that Murray is hot as heck and is really we written in strip poker night at the inventory. Please do not say nasty things about this game about children. I don't need you referring to these children as hot as heck. Do I dare? Do I dare live out the American <laughs> the American dream and stab self? All right. Do it. Do it, you pussy. Do it! Do it, you pussy! Oh, I have commit seppuku. Look at all of us. For example, Basil from Omori. These are, these are all of our memories together. When you put R and all right next to each other in a sentence, it always makes me trip it up. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Um, maybe. Let's make some new memories together, okay? You see a boy sleeping in his room. <laughs> What's his name? Um. <laughs> it won't let me basil from Amori. Um. Okay, what else? What else can I do? Pook? Pookus? It Pookus. The boy's name is Pookus? Yeah, why not? wanted it to be Basil, but you wouldn't let me. So now he's Pukas. Good morning, Pukas. Okay, finally I'm in a real... a real place. A real earthly place. This, this looks like a normal house where a normal kid would live. Mom's voicemail. Hey Pukas, it's Mommy. <laughs> I'm still in the city, setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The movers are going to be at our house in a few days, so I have... So I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry, Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might cut out sometime tonight. Mom, what if I need the lights? I might need that, Mom. Anyway, I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for both of us. I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. 
Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzzzt. You are hungry. You feel the hunger. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Cardboard boxes are little littered around the house. Ordinary houseplant. Oh my gosh, I can barely see anything. You guys probably can't see anything either. Bathroom. Toilet. A toilet. Some towels and toiletries. Oh my gosh. I am Basil from Amori. <laughs> I am Basil! No, I am Pukas. Hi, Pukas. This is a note from Mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you. XOXO. A bathtub. Ordinary plant. God, what time is it? Are you sure you want to go downstairs? No. This is probably my parents' room, yeah? I would like to save, though. Omori becomes Pukas. Are Omori and Pukas the same character? They have the same haircut. But also, all the characters in this game have the same face. So no help there. Uh, yes, we can go downstairs. I hope I don't get jump scared. Oh, I'm scared. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm going back up. Oh, Mori is afraid. Or Pukas is afraid. Well, it seems like it's the middle of the damn night. Hi, Pukas. This is a note from Mommy. I left some food in the fridge for you downstairs. It's steak, your favorite. Love you, XOXO. I wonder if that's an Earthbound reference. Can I go back to bed? Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. I can wake up in the morning when, when it's... when it's light out. Okay, it looks a little brighter now. Oh... There is red light outside. An eerie red glow radiates from outside. Is that Satan? You feel strangely drawn to it. Ooh, 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 that's a big staircase! Oh no. Alright, time to be brave. Time to- <laughs> time to be brave! Time to be brave! Time to be brave! It's okay. Nope, nope, nope. Can't do it, can't do it. You are hungry, you have to, you have to venture forth. I'm hungry. Pukas, you gotta do it. You gotta do it, Pukas, you're hungry. Pukas, you gotta do it. Is this like, uh, is this all just meant to represent my fear of the dark? Oh, hello. Do not fear you. I am big strong man. I am not afraid of tiny video game. I am big strong man. I am big strong man. Pukas is hungry! Pukas gotta eat. Oof, I am afraid. Okay, okay. What will Pukas do? <sighs> Pukas, you gotta do something. What are my skills? No skills available. Pukas, do you think you can beat that thing? Pukas takes 12 damage. Pukas attacks something. Pukas' attack did nothing. Alright, well then let's run. Cannot run. <laughs> Cannot run. Okay. Hmm. Is 
Something shoves Pukus. Pukus's attack did nothing. Fart. I'm gonna die. Pukus. Something taunts Pukus. He falls. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. Uh... I'm finding it difficult when it's you telling me that. I'm sorry. It's not as scary as you think. I'm just going to hold you down and eat your organs. You steady yourself and remember how to calm down. You pray to relax us. You do square breathing. Okay, now I'm starting to think the opening of this game was, uh, was a bit of a bait-and-switch. Because it all seemed so cutesy at the start. It all seemed very wholesome. I think that was meant to lull me into a sense of security. Only to, only to then have it shattered. And also, I'm about to die. Remember, Pukus. All you need to do is calm down. Something taunts Pukus. Pukus's attack does nothing. Pukus, just calm down. Just do your square breathing, Pukus! Pukus blacked out. Oh, shoot. Pukus, you can't let your anxiety get the best of you. Game over. Do you want to retry? Yeah, I guess I might as well. Square breathing, Pukus. Square breathing. Something shoves Pukus still. Attack does nothing. Pukus keeps taking damage. More damage to Pukus. Still have no skills. I'm thinking what's gonna happen is a skill is gonna pop up there that I'll be able to use. Well, that's my guess anyway. Still can't run. Take a deep breath, don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You steady yourself and remember how to calm down. Now I bet I have a skill. There it is. Removes emotions and heals some heart. Relaxus, give me strength. Relaxus. Bless me with relaxation. I know only you can do it, Relaxus. Oh. And now I'm at the bottom of the stairs. You got a first aid kit. Beautiful. Wow, what a beautiful house. We've got the biggest house! Pukas, you must be rich. Where's the fridge? Is it, Is it just, just me, or does that one I think from a Mori sketchbook, sketchbook have vibes, vibes of someone, someone named Keith? Keith? <laughs> um, well, if you want to call him Keith, that's probably fine. You look in the Baxter fridge. Wax a rookie wookie bear. Please do a 20-hour stream. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know about that. Maybe someday. I'll, you know, I'll do a marathon stream eventually. Other streamers do it. There's no reason why I can't do it. I have to build up my strength first. It actually requires more energy than you would imagine to, uh... To just, like, sit up straight and talk into a microphone for hours on end. You start to get sweaty. You look in the fridge and you find cold steak. Take it? Sure. You got cold steak. You should probably heat it up before you eat it. Microwave it is. You put the cold steak in the microwave. Ah. 
You got microwave steak. Ah, yes. A lovely, well-done steak. Throw it in the trash! What's next? You gonna put ketchup on it, huh? Would you like to eat some? Not really, but I guess I have to. Ugh. No thanks. God, and all this was done in RPG Maker? I need to learn it. I need to learn RPG Maker, you guys. I can make a game. I could do it. I have it within me. Whoa. What was in that steak, dude? <laughs> Whoa. Oof. Your stomach didn't agree with that. Oh, man. This steak got me high, brother. I gotta... T I gotta take a shit or something. Hey, where's all my friends? Where's Basil from Amori? Nope, can't go out that way. Uh, do I just go back to bed? I probably have to go to the bathroom, right? Vomit. Vomit in toilet. <laughs> Was that meant to represent vomiting? It was just like one weird sound of like a splash. You threw up. Oh, I guess I did. Okay. See, if I made this game, I would have put some real visceral sounds in there, animated the whole thing. Animated him going, Hoop! Hey Max, I know this has nothing to do with the third game, but I've played the Lisa the Painful fan games, Lisa the Pointless and Lisa the Hopeful. I have not. I haven't even played the Lisa DLC yet. Someone's at the door, though. Hello? Stop banging. It's Marie. Hey, Pukas, it's Marie. I'm finally back home, but I forgot my keys. Aren't you my sister? Or are you Omori's sister? Are we not the same character? Could you open the door for me? Well, I don't see why not. Come on in. Oh. What happened? What would you like? To oh, okay. The room turned around. So I could see the other side of the room. Uh, what would you like to do? Open the door. Hello? Who is that? That's not Marie, is it? Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, Pukas, close the door. Pukas, you gotta close the door. Oh, Pukas, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, Pukas. Um, uh, um, stranger danger. Oh, Pukas, maybe just go back to bed. Oh, you know what? There's a phone. Call for help. You have no new messages. I know. Call 911. There's a stranger at the door. Fuck. I'm going to bed. Very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yep. Yeah, I, I'm gonna assume this is all just a dream. That's not my sister. Oh boy. <sighs> it's not easy being Pukas. You gotta puke in the middle of the night. You gotta vomit in, into the toilet. Some weird demon at the door. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Oh, Pokemon music again. I'm Omori again! Alright, a light bulb hangs from the ceiling wherever it is. Look into the light bulb. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. All right, so that hasn't changed. Um, Cat, are you different? No. Your sketchbook, take a look inside? Yes. Okay, nothing new here. Anything new on computer? Oh. What is this? Collect the keys to fill in the blanks. 
incorrect keys will be discarded to the right. Okay, so we're playing Hangman. Um... Uh, is there a B? Actually, you know what? I should start with vowels, shouldn't I? Oh. Press Q to open Hangman menu? Whoa, what was that? Something fell nearby. It doesn't seem to... actually want to let me play. And I can just bring that up randomly? Whenever I want? Okay. Maybe it'll let me play when I find the answer? I'm hoping. Hmm. Something fell nearby, so I'm guessing I have to find another knife or something. Or not. Because there was nothing. Cat, you want to give me some tips, or...? I'm waiting for something to happen. You need the DLC to play the hangman? Okay. A white door casts a faint shadow. Do nothing. You stared at the door. Hmm. You need the DLC to play the hangman. So I just can't play it now? That sucks. I was all excited. I wanted to play <laughs> I wanted to play hangman. Shoot. But if I wander, if I wander in the in the white space, will I eventually find something? No. Oh, there's something. What is that? You found a map. Okay. It doesn't look like a map of where I am. Um, I do see the playground that I was at earlier, so that might be something. Press W to open the headspace map. Okay, and then I press Q to open the hangman. But it won't let me play. I want to play. I want to play, Hangman. I want to play. A white door casts a faint shadow. Would you like to open the door? Yes! Let's get out of here. Let's go find you know, Basil. To play Hangman, you just need to find the keys in the colorful world. Oh, okay. The DLC thing is a joke. <laughs> okay. You have to physically collect them as you play. Oh, so someone lied to me. I see how it is. Let's all lie to Max. No, Max, wait. He's lying. You can play Hangman. Let's all sabotage his playthrough of Basil from Amori. Amori, thank goodness you're here. Have you seen Basil? I think he died or something. We can't find him anywhere. We should go tell Marie you're okay. Yo, Max. It's Badass Boy once so more I. <laughs> hey, what's up? I love this stream so far. Glad you decided to give Basil from Amori a try. Once Omori. Bagel, Basil, Babel, Bagel. <laughs> once Amori. Once Amori from the top. We should go tell Marie you're okay. She's been worried sick. Yeah, I was at home and she was at the front door, but it was like a weird demon. You know what? Now I think this game has me. I think I'm hooked. I think it won me over. Hey, snake. Tss. Going out, Omori. Tss. 
Here's your allowance for today. You got 200 clams. Thank you! Oh, a key. I got a key. I can use for a hangman, yes. 11 keys left. Okay. Oh! Okay, I don't play hangman. When I collect a key, it fills in the hangman for me. Okay? But then what's the point of it being hangman? Because then there's no guesswork. You're not actually guessing anything. It's just filling in the blanks for you. Right? Perhaps it will become more clear to me as I play. Should I go back to Basil's house? What do I do now? I see big scary spider web. You are afraid of spiders. Hmm. I am afraid of spiders. How did you know? Not really, though. I actually think spiders are pretty cool. I love them. What in this direction am I afraid of, I wonder? We should go see Marie. She's been so worried about you. Okay. Okay, we go see my sister, Marie. Also, with the way it's spelled, it might be pronounced Mari, but I don't care. I'm gonna keep calling her Marie. Oh, Mori, you're okay. Oh, siblings embrace. Don't worry me like that. Where's Basil? He's not with you, Amori? No, I'm afraid not. The last thing I remember was sorting photos with Basil in his house. Hi. Hi. I'm back. Wookie, snooky, pookie, bookie, mookie, quokey, yuki, dookie, fuki, cookie, zuki, kazuki, looky, rookie. Your content is amazing in my inspo. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. We're playing Basil from Omori today. <clears throat> the next thing I know, I'm waking up in Neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. At least we found you, Omori. But I hope Basil is okay. Who's going to protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a downer, Aubrey! We'll find it, Basil for sure! You're absolutely right, Kel. It's at times like these where we gotta stay positive. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? We're gonna find him <laughs> dead on the floor. There might be something that we missed. That's the spirit, hero. And as always, I'll be here if you need me. Let's save real quick. Hmm. We also have a floating mirror. This is new. Oh, it's us! Boy, the kid in the back is really tall. Who's the kid in the back? It'd be a lot easier to tell them apart if they all had different faces, let me tell you. If I was making this game, I would have given them all different faces so that you can really remember who's who. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. You can't remember who is who, as they all have different... <laughs> They all have the same face over and over again. I shouldn't be such a wise ass though. I need to give this game a real chance. I have to be open minded to Basil from Amori. But I do wish that it wasn't so difficult for me to tell them all apart. That one in the back that's really tall, which one was that? Was that Kel or was that Hero? I'm not sure.
I guess I'm supposed to tell them apart by their haircuts? I guess that's the answer. But also, all of their haircuts are very similar. And all the same color. So it is tricky for me. Look, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, when you watch Ren and Stimpy, you never forget which one is Ren and which one is Stimpy. You never forget. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say about that, and I'm gonna leave it like that, okay? I was about to say that I managed to make two people give Max five bucks just to correct my lie. That's like a free money glitch. <laughs> Thank you for uh, inspiring people to donate to me. I do appreciate it. Come on, Amori, have some fruit. Fruit is good for you. Um, excuse me, my name is Pukas. You and your friends feel like new. What is this over here? Is this a cooler? Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Uh, sure. Do you think Basil is okay? <laughs> I don't know. Are we supposed to be looking for him while we're having a picnic? I feel like maybe we should be more worried. Hmm. His disappearance is concerning, but it won't help anyone to get too worked up over it. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure some tragic, sad thing has not happened to Basil from Amori. Basil is really trusting. He'll believe anything anyone says. What if someone tricked him into something? Or maybe he's fallen into a trap. Calm down, Aubrey. I'm sure we'll find him. Everyone knows that nothing bad ever happens to Basil from Amori. Everyone knows that. I know. Why don't you why don't you all water his flowers while he's away? I'm sure he'll be super thankful once he's back. Yeah, sounds like work. <laughs> Oh, Aubrey, come on. Don't cry. I don't like it when you cry. Cheer up. On the outside, Basil may seem really soft, but he's actually pretty strong on the inside. Basil can take care of himself. You should believe in him a little more. <laughs> well, when you put it that way... Okay, I'll try to believe in Basil. Thanks, Kel. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, don't smile at me. It's creepy. That's right. Children smiling There's a is secret creepy. Area in this game where Amori and his friends find cans without labels and have to eat whatever inside. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure, exactly. <laughs> You're creepy. Does this have a cans without labels DLC that I can play? <laughs> uh. Let's hit it. Oh, Basil! Knock, knock. I'm sure he's fine. He's probably right inside this very door. See, look, there he is! Or maybe not. Is there a spider on the ground? Well, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Do you think Basil just left somewhere without telling us? I don't know. That doesn't sound like him. He's usually so considerate about these things. Guys, I'm really worried. Is there nothing we can do? What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Aubrey. You I'm better worried. water Bagel's flowers. I won't. I won't do if it. If you had something you cared about, wouldn't you want someone to take care of it while you're away? Like Wolfo. <sighs> Fuck. If something happened to me, I would want somebody to take care of Wolfo. Or else he would die. But also... Is Life of Flowers as valuable as Life of Cat? 
Because I would posit it is not. It is not. Life of plant is not equal to life of cat. If plant dies, it is not tragedy. If cat dies, it is tragedy. Because cat experience pain and starvation. And thirst. I guess I guess plant experience thirst, but plant do not really experience anything. Because plant have no brain. Don't you guys understand plant have no brain? And that's the that that is the difference. And that's why I will not water basil's flowers. They have no brains, and I do not care about them. I eat plant. I eat plant for dinner. So I'm sorry. Um, his flowers are on their own. Stay calm, Aubrey. I'm worried too, but that won't solve anything. Let's go look around the forest. Maybe he wandered off and got lost. He's dead. Clearly he's dead. Yeah, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll find Basil. Sniff. You guys are right. Okay, we gotta keep our hopes up. Let's go look for Basil in the vast forest. Is there a spider on the ground? What is that? I guess I can't interact with it. All right, we're hunting for Basil. I still don't understand the nature of this world, this existence that we find ourselves in, where we're just in a, a pretty colorful forest with monsters and mythical creatures. There are no adults around. I don't understand any of it. Don't know why I had to stab myself earlier. Don't know why I woke up in a house and there was a demon at the front door that looked like my sister. A flower. Would you like to water? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Fucking fine. Do it. Water. Yeah, how do I water? No, not that. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna do it because I can't figure out how that's also a good excuse to not do it So it's not just laziness. I just can't figure out how to do it Yeah, it just won't let me There's only one button that I can use There's no DLC for this game, but if you are genuinely invested There's like three bosses exclusive to the console versions kind of like Undertale yeah, I can't water. Oh well, didn't want to do it anyway. Why is it my responsibility to take on Basil's chores? Because he got lost like an idiot. Like a fool. Sorry, Basil, your flowers are gonna die. All of them. Every single one. Oh, I can run. That's nice. Okay, train station, pinwheel forest. Well, we're supposed to look in the forest. What is this? Transportation station. It doesn't seem to be in service. Okay, I'm gonna skip that. Vast forest. Okay, well... A minute ago, it was called the Pinwheel Forest, but whatever. Oh, this game is taxing my last nerve. Just want to hang out with my friend Basil, but... Max, when the flowers look dead, you water them then. Oh, okay. They are healthy now. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe it's not so much work. If I notice they're dead, I'll try again. Basil! Basil, where are you? I know. I bet my pet rock will know what to do. Kel, you're a... F god, Kel. Oh my god. Hey, Max. Hi. Two, Two trucks. trucks. 
two trucks having sex. Hector, be a good boy. Go find Basil. <laughs> Kel, you're an idiot! Kel is the kid who eats paste in art class. For fuck's sake, Kel, grow a brain! You tried your best, buddy. This is no time to fool around, Kel. Hey, why you... Hector was just trying to help! Let it go, you two. We need to help ourselves. We need to, excuse me, we need to keep ourselves focused. Okay. Bird? Squawk. Pinwheel forest. Squawk, squawk. Foggy bridge. Two trucks having sex. Two trucks having sex. My muscles. We have to fight Bunny. Jax deals small amount of damage to all foes. And reduces their speed. Let's try it out. Everybody else just attack. Ooh, 25 damage. That's not bad. Look at Omori! Hey, Max. Hi. Big bang. Anyways, when will you start making your iconic Max Reacts content? You know the videos where you only react to body cam footage, smiley face. Um, right now, Max is reacting to... Omori video game. In a sense. That's a sort of reacting. Yeah? Sometimes the thought balloons are like faded out and I can't do anything with them and I don't know why. I'm not sure how that works. Omori's party was victorious. You gained 32 XP. Eight clams received. I have received clams. Two trucks having sex. Two trucks having sex. My muscles, my muscles involuntarily flex. Watermelon. You got dandelion. It is kind of funny that like uh, treasure chests are um are watermelons. Just watermelons. Kill bunnies. Oh, wait a minute. It might be... The way it might work is only one of the kids gets to use thought balloons. So the reason that all the other kids have faded out thought balloons is because... Is because Omori uses thought balloons first? Let's see. Let's try it out. No, now Omori's are, are faded out. Still don't know which one is Kel and which one is Hero. They were all faded out that time. Fuck, how does this work? Omori's party was victorious. What are you guys saying? Um. He's getting closer. It's sad that the endings are so cursed. This is the live stream of all time. Yeah, this is the live stream of all time. I am saying change expression. Oh yeah, there. <laughs> Two trucks holding hands. You guys aren't helping. The thought bubbles take up some of the energy bar. I know, but energy bar is full, is it not? That little number at the bottom shows you whether you can use a follow-up. You need at least three to do it. Okay. Hmm. Well, too late for this battle. Omori's party was victorious. You gained 32 XP. And you got eight clams. Shoot. I wanted more than eight clams.
We can beat this guy. We can take this guy. Oh, there's two of them. Fuck! Yes. Sing. My angel of music. Pass to Aubrey. Aubrey, Aubrey knocks ball out of park? I wish... I wish that RPGs didn't do this thing where... They just scroll the text without letting you read it first. Lisa the RPG did the same thing. Like, let me read it. I need to read this. It's not irrelevant information. I need to read it. Aubrey is angry and also low on health. So... Um, stab. Always deals a critical hit. Ignores defense when Omori is sad. Cost 13. Uh, okay. Whoa, excuse me. You do... Stabby on Sprout. Aubrey, what are your skills? Pep talk. Uh, Aubrey, you just do regular attack. Kel. Okay, Kel is the one with his hair down. And I guess that means Hero, who I want to... <laughs> Who I really, really want to call Keenan, because really I just want to play a Keenan and Kel game. Uh, Hero, who I'm gonna call Keenan, has his hair up, and it's spikier. Kel looks like his hair is wet and it's down. Uh, Kel, you can attack, sprout. Keenan, you can. can heal Aubrey. Keenan and Keller, should I say Kel and Keenan, and you gotta watch Keenan, cause Keenan be scheming. The plan or a plot, they'll make it to the top, but they're always in the middle, cause they're always getting caught. This ain't the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew mystery, it's just Keenan and Kel in your vicinity. Nope, nope, not skill. Attack. Good. Lost Mole Sprout runs around. It was a dull attack. Aubrey took 11 damage. Omori's party was victorious. He gained 32 XP. Got three clams. Ooh, we got B button. Ten keys left. Took a shower when you were going to Basil's house. Just got out. What did I miss? Uh, Basil might be dead. And it's pronounced Basil. He might be dead. We're looking for him. He's lost. Um... I don't necessarily have the best hopes that he's just going to be okay when we find him. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't think Basil is in this forest. But we haven't even searched the whole forest yet. We can't stop now. Cheer up, Aubrey. We'll keep searching until we find him. If we don't find Basil soon, maybe we should meet up with Marie at the playground and figure out what to do from there. Well, this isn't a forest anymore. It's like a weird series of boardwalks. Oh, can't go this way. Turning around. Poor Basil. currently being tortured as we speak. They're shoving bamboo under his fingernails. Breaking all his little toes. <laughs> Putting cigarettes out on him. Putting a cigarette, a cigarette out on his little arm. Tss, ah, no! Well, that's how it is on this bitch of an earth. You don't get to be a basil no more. You don't get to be a basil from Omori. Um, 
um, fight. Attack. These are just bunnies. They're fine. You know what? That weird... Th this weird gauge thing... There's a number at the end. Does, the number just keeps going up, I assume. But why does it need to be like a bar? Because I don't see the bar fill up. The number goes up, but the bar... Does the bar change? I'm not sure. Um, Basil, you fight. Everybody just keep fighting. Except for Keenan. Because he has cook ability. Which can be used on Omori to heal him. Oh, careful! Careful. Ooh, getting dicey, getting real dicey. cookie and regain health. And how 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 high do I have to get the counter to do the uh to do the multi-attack move? Because that was pretty badass. I would enjoy doing that again. I do not know if game will let me. Moves a friend or foe's emotion. That does not seem useful. Um. Alright, everyone just attack. Six, still not there. Uh, Aubrey, I want you to eat candy, because your health is, like, halfway gone. Just one. Just one candy. The rest of you guys can just attack normally. Omori's party was victorious. We didn't get to do our multi-attack move. I don't know how many points I need to accumulate for that. Also, the bar is confusing. I think it should be styled differently. Omori's Omori grew to level four. All right. We haven't gone up here yet. You got candy. Max. Yeah. When the basil is from Omori. Talk fourteen said this in chat. Okay. Thank you. Nourishment. Is there a dog in here? Can I pet the doggo? Can you pet the doggo in Basil from Amori? Nothing good in there. Oh, I don't retain my points. Shoot. You don't retain your points. From fight to fight, I'm back down to three. Use it or lose it. Attack again. XP, three clams, no leveling up. Apple juice. Ooh, I love apple juice. It's got a lot of sugar in it, though. Alright, I gotta fight you. You're in the way, I gotta fight you. Um, okay. We'll fight uh, Omori. We're gonna have you... I'm gonna give you a snack. We're gonna give you some candy. Um... Aubrey, I think, is fine for now. 
So we're gonna have everyone else attack. Oh my gosh, Aubrey. Aubrey, no! Aubrey, no! Oh, she's toast. Fuck. I'm not sure how to revive her. Can I just... Can I give candy to Toast? Will that work? Oh no, the candy goes to Omori. Aubrey could not receive candy. So she's just done. Also, the, can <laughs> the candy was wasted. That sucks. Kel, you need to heal up too. Hero, you can just do a regular attack. Bonk. Alright guys, just take it out. It's almost done. Just take it out real quick. There we go. Mori's party was victorious. You gained 45 XP. You got four clams. Kel grew to level four and learned rebound. Hero grew to level four. Are you fine, Aubrey? Are you good? You got jacks. Okay, um... So when a character dies... They just kind of like faint. They don't die permanently. And now she's back at one HP, which means if I can give if I can give apple juice to Aubrey. Oh, I can't. Why not though? Why not? Let her drink it. Give it to Hero? Oh, wait. Does juice rest does apple juice re restore my juice meter? And her juice juice meter was full, which is why it wasn't working on her. Dandelion has a calming effect. Removes emotion from a friend or foe. Skills. Uh, Hero... Can you cook for Aubrey? There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful! Also, can you cook for yourself? Yes. Okay. So juice is like my magic meter, or it's like flower points from Paper Mario? I'm gonna assume yes. Makes sense, I'm gonna assume yes. Also, I'm gonna have to call it quits soon, you guys. I've been going for three hours. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm starting to get into it. Still a couple things here and there I don't understand. I don't think I can go this way. Oop, got a fight bunny. Attack again. Omori, attack again. Omori attacks again. Bunny takes 22 damage. It's funny how so many games have a problem with having uh, so many RPGs, turn based RPGs, have a problem with the text either going by too fast or too slow. Because you play like a Pokemon game and it just feels like the text takes forever and it just goes by way too slow. And then with games like this and with Lisa the RPG, it doesn't even let you choose how fast the text goes by. It just auto-scrolls. 
Why is it so hard for so many games to hit a sweet spot? I need to be able to read it, because the text in the battles is important. I need to know what's going on in the battles. Just a tire swing. I don't like it when it auto-scrolls, I'm sorry, I just don't. I feel like it's an overcorrection of the problem. You just need to hit a sweet spot. When I'm playing Paper Mario, I never complain about the text speed, it's always fine. Get away from me, I'm not fighting you. Get away. Get away. Please. I'm sneaking past you. Fuck! No. Uh, okay, run. Can I run? Yes. Just every turn-based RPG should just be an emulation of Paper Mario completely. God. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Play it. And then just copy it. Just do everything that that game did. This is when the game starts getting really good. Yeah. So if you do end up continuing it, I hope you'll like it. You know what? Face. Considering that this game had kind of a slow start, and I do need to give it more of a chance, um, and a lot of what I did today was just kind of like going through the beginning of it, I will do another Omori stream. I will do at least one more, and then after that. I will decide if I want to continue or not. Yeah, we couldn't find him. Hey, Max, do you think you'd ever stream one of the Resident Evils? Definitely. Definitely. I fucking adore Resident Evil. Um... I didn't play Resident Evil as a kid. I got into it for the first time, like, three years ago. And I started playing them all. And I instantly realized, oh my god, it's like these games are made for me. They are so good. And they are exactly what I love. Um, so like, when Resident Evil 9 comes out, or whatever, I'll definitely play it. God, I fucking love Resident Evil. Resident Evil is so good! So fucking good! Hi, Omori. Cliff-faced as usual, I see. Yeah, we couldn't find him. You should totally smile more. I've always liked your smile. So, do you need me to help you with anything? All it costs is your love. Mm. It's weird. It doesn't look like Basil is anywhere in Vast Forest after all. I wonder where he could have wandered off to. It doesn't look like... Yep. That's just the same thing again. Oh, Daisy is trying to get her crush to notice her with a flower puzzle. How cute! I think I saw McCall throw one away a while back. Maybe you can find it somewhere. Well, then where is he? Where is that little fucker? Basil, where you be? Are we sure that he's not in his house? In his little shoe house? Yeah, he ain't here. Shoot. Max, can you call Amori an emo boy now? I think it really suits his character. Oh, he's very emo. Not but a sad little boy. A sad little boy in his sad little world. Huh? 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 Ah! Chew! <laughs> now I fight Dust Bunny. Okay. Dust Bunny is trying to keep itself together. Pass to Aubrey. Oh, never mind. Mori's party was victorious. You gained 36 XP and got five clams. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I don't know. That little boy is fucked. He's dead. Basil is just dead. Basil is lying in a ditch on the side of the road somewhere. I don't know what you want from me. He's nowhere. He's truly nowhere. You know, I think we all knew something was going to happen to that Basil. I think we all knew. He wasn't... <laughs> he was not built to last. He was too soft. I was always telling him, Basil, Basil, you're too soft, Basil. Don't you get it, Basil? You gotta toughen up. In this world, it's eat or be eaten. You know? Train station. I haven't seen the train station yet. Can check that out. Got another parrot over here. Woo! 
weird ass music. I don't want to fight these bunnies right now. Let me go check at the playground again. I'll check the playground. And if he's not there, I know he's not going to be here though. <laughs> you guys okay? The grass sure feels nice here. Want to join us, Omori? Uh, sure. The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. Omori learned to observe. Oh, that's good. It almost seems like... Oh, wait, cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Have you found Basil yet? You know we haven't. Hey, Marie? No luck so far, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I wish there was a way I could help more. We're all doing our best. Maybe we should start looking outside this forest. I know! Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? The one east of the stump. We can't do that. Omori is afraid of heights, that pussy. What if Basil is somewhere up there? We gotta take our chances. I know. God, if it wasn't for Omori holding us back all the time, constantly, with his incessant fears. I know, but... Omori, you're growing stronger and stronger every day. You can handle climbing a ladder, can't you? Come on, little brother, face your fears. It's natural to be nervous at first, but you should know that we all believe in you. Come on, Omori. It's just one measly little ladder. What's the worst that can happen? You could fall off it and die. Crack your head open. Hey, Max. Split your head wide open. Last stream when I was saying Basil from Omori. <laughs> I never thought you'd actually play it. Glad you think it's cool and have a great weekend. Thanks. I hope you have a nice weekend, too. Thank you for your super chat. And thank you for joining us today here on Relax with Max. We are playing Basil from Omori. I don't know about this. Do you think you're going to be okay, Omori? Omori, you do know that you could fall off the ladder and crack your head open and your brains could come out. You know that, right? Okay, if you're okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. But if you get scared, you can always count on me to back you up. Thanks, Omori. You've got some real courage. Woohoo! Let's go, let's go to the ladder east of the stump. We'll see you later, Marie. Bye now, stay safe. Remember, Omori, you're stronger than you think. What was I al what was I about to say before the cutscene? It's almost as if this world, this little fantasy world that we escape to here, it's almost as if this is like a world that was built specifically for children. It's like Froopy Land from Rick and Morty, you know? Like everything is soft and colorful. There are little shapes in the sky. There's cute fuzzy monsters everywhere. It's Froopy Land. Okay, east of the stump. We gotta do it, we gotta climb the ladder. Omori, you gotta face your fears. Remember what Marie said, Omori. You're stronger than you think. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. Yeah, and if you fall, we'll be right here to catch you. Kel, don't scare him! You won't fall, Omori. I promise. You can do this, bud. You can do Omori it. Omori plays the violin really important in the lore. Also, don't worry, Omori grows away his fears. Good. It's time for him to toughen up. Be a man. You're soft, Omori, you're soft. You are no longer afraid of heights. <laughs> wow, that was easy. Just like that, huh? Man, I know there's a reason why we've never climbed this ladder, but I can't put my finger on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh well, here goes nothing. Hopefully we can save when we get to the top. Oh, 
I guess we're climbing like a ladder to the moon? Or to like a weird orb with buildings and, and trees on it? This is a 20 hour game. I could get like five episodes of Relax with Max out of this. Wait, hold up, guys. Shoot, where is he? I just had him. Where is who? Hector, my pet rock. I swear, I just had him in my pocket. No! Hector! It must have fallen out of my pocket when I wasn't paying attention! I'm sorry, Hector. I should have been more careful. What's the big deal? It's just a rock, right? Don't you dare say that! He's not a rock! No! He's family! <laughs> don't, don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up soon, Kel. Probably. I sure hope he does. Wait for me, Hector. I'll find you. I promise! It's a fucking rock, you idiot. Nobody cares about your rock. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Can I get that? Oh, it's a snake. <laughs> it's a snake wearing a little astronaut helmet. I don't think I'm meant to interact with that. I'm just gonna keep going. Kel, you fucking idiot, Kel. Almost there? Oh, cool. First! And Hero is last. I think that's Hero. Yeah? Yep. <sighs> the ladder. It just... <sighs> <sighs> Never ends! You literally are at the end of it. You literally just finished it. Oh. Oh. One sec. Oh. Ha. Ah. Just catching my breath. Oh. Actually. Uh, give me a minute. Oh. Oh. Well, at least it's a good workout. Cheap, other world campsite. Cheap, cheap. Catatail Field. Well, if there's a campsite, maybe that means we can meet Marie and save our game. Other world. God, this game really is cute. It's got a lot of cute colors. What a very appealing design. And there's Marie! There's Marie, baby! There she is. Here comes Marie. Hello, Marie. An unofficial pit stop for weary space travelers and a popular family-friendly camping ground. Ah, don't you just love the smell of firewood? I do. I really do. And the sound of running water, eh, that's all right. And the crisp space breeze, it all makes the vast emptiness of space a little more bearable, don't you think? Can I save? There we go. Now, how do I quit? Options? Mm, no. Exit game, there we go. The game is saved, and we have successfully quit. <laughs> that's Amori, everybody! And the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. Who boy, that's it! Um, I'm gonna play it again. We have not seen the last of Omori, and we have not seen the last of Basil from Amori. We're gonna find him. We're gonna find that little fucker. I don't know where he went. But ooh, we're gonna find him. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. 
He's got to be around here somewhere. Where, where, how, what could have possibly happened to him? Where could he possibly have gone? He's just a little kid. Nothing bad ever happens to little kids. Everyone knows kids can't die. But that's going to be it for today. And you know what that means. That means it's time to wind things down. We had a few good laughs, my friends made a few memories and Although now the fun must end, I hope you see what you mean to me. You're all my neighbors and allies, and though it's time to part, as we traverse through lows and highs, I'll keep you all inside my heart. Sorry that it's time to go, but we can still share one more song. It's because I love you so that it hurts to say so long. Red and yellow, black and white, you're all precious in my sight. But it's time for us to say so long. Even though Relax with Max is always relaxing to watch, there's something very relaxing about completing a Relax with Max stream. Maybe more so for me than for you. Because for me, when the stream is over, that means I get to relax. It means I get to go lie down. Basil from Amori, Basil from Amori. I don't know why people love just repeating that phrase, but we're going to find that, Basil. Don't you worry, we're going to find him. I'd like to take a moment to encourage you all to consider joining my Patreon, which now is over 10 years of updates. For just $5 a month, you can get access to useful resources for artists and animators, such as source files, presets, and tutorials. And the link is in the description below. Uh, I think today's stream was pretty good. I liked it. I had fun. The game was a little slow at the start, but now I'm hooked. I guess it's because it's a long game and the longer, uh, the longer, the longer, why does longer sound like a funny, a funny word? Longer is a word, right? Longer, longer. You know, when you repeat a word over and over again and it loses all meaning, I, d I just had that happen to me instantly with the word longer without repeating it over and over again. Longer, longer. Longer. Longer? All right. The longer a game is... All right, move on, I guess. The, the longer a game is, the longer its opening has to be. And this game is so long that its opening was apparently like two and a half hours. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's going to be it for me, folks. I'll see you on Monday, the iconic Minecraft Monday, the institutional Minecraft Monday. The groundbreaking, record-breaking Minecraft Monday. The fan favorite Minecraft Monday. The essential Minecraft Monday. The indispensable Minecraft Monday. And thanks to everyone who joined us for this stream. Thank you so much for inviting me into your home and allowing me to spend the afternoon with you. It's been an honor and a privilege. And remember, I am close personal friends with each and every one of you. 
So long.